Firefighters say that they are still working to put out hot spots and it could be days until their work is done. Amber Lake has the latest information as they work to figure out what caused it. Up until last night, the Culp Weaving Mill building had all of its walls. Well, due to the fire, the section that you see directly behind me completely collapsed. Now, thankfully, there were no injuries whenever it fell, but there were some firefighters who were extremely close whenever it happened. It was very, very scary because there was a uh, some firemen up on a ladder right over top of when that wall collapsed. And when it collapsed, just a huge plume of embers and smoke and heat. You could feel the heat all the way over there. Um, and so uh, just very dangerous for our firemen. This video was sent to me by a viewer. This was before the collapse. Chief Tommy Cole told me thankfully one of the strongest fire hydrants in the city is close by, but tanks were also brought in to supply water. Hot spots are now being watched and sprayed and Chief Cole says this may take at least three days. We had drones come out. Uh, we did thermal imaging with the drones, and so now we know where our hot spots are. Uh, so we're just going to continue to uh, put water on it, try to cool those down. Most of it's underneath the debris, so it's going to take a lot of time. It's pretty much got to burn itself out. Chief Cole says the building has been partially vacant. Some of it been used for storage. Now remember, we were just out here this time last year for another fire at the mill on the back side of the building. Grand Mayor Jennifer Talley says when it comes to these vacant buildings, she worries every time it gets cold outside. I'm afraid that somebody went in there to get warm and left either fell asleep and left something burning uh, in order, you know, some sort of heat source or something. And um, so that's what I'm mostly concerned about. Now, Chief Cole says that they believe that the fire is suspicious. The investigation has started the early stages of this investigation, but because it's so dangerous to go inside the building, they're going to rely heavily on drones to help with their investigation. Live in Graham, Amber Lake, WFMY News 2.